coffee. It makes all this seem less daunting. Oops. <laughs> coffee. It makes all this seem less daunting. Hi, hello, greetings, and welcome to episode 21 of Reverse Engineering, Disassembling, Reassembling, whatever, um, a Monroe K calculator. So um, uh, on this side, uh, this lever, I think, uh, actually needs to go on the other side of this. So I'm going to fix that later. Um, and I still haven't quite figured out what this wire is for. Um, I did find, I did remember um, in looking at the videos that it sort of hooks over this thing um, so that uh, apparently this lever can't go any further. I don't know why, because on the KA, which is the automatic version that I have, uh, this wire doesn't exist. Um, there is actually a part that sits on here that goes down this way. Um, but uh, I still don't know the purpose of this wire, and hopefully as we put this thing together, we'll figure it out. In the meantime, we get to put together the other side of the frame. Uh, so um, this is, I think, going back to video seven, I believe. Uh, so we've got all of these parts, um, and all of these parts need to go on here. So uh, let's get to it. Got my oil. Um, and I think, uh, well, the, the easiest thing we could do is put this standoff um, together. So here we have a standoff plus the little washer that fits on it. And that goes um, right in here. So I'm just going to screw that on. That's pretty easy. I'm going to tighten it. Okay. That was pretty easy. Um, we also have, let's see. We have this pair. This is a, uh, a screw. Um, in Let's see, in bag nine, we actually had um, two of these smaller screws and one of these bigger screws. So we're going to use the bigger screw and this funny looking nut. Um, and that goes in the fourth hole down. So the screw goes in like that. And on the other side, the nut faces this way. And so we're just going to put that in and maybe tighten that up a little bit. Okay, so that's that part. Um, then we have this part, which is um, this complicated screw bushing axle shaft sort of thing. Um, it's got a large washer that goes onto one of the shoulders like that. Then it goes into this hole right over here, just like that. And then on the other side, we put the lock washer, which I insist is a useless thing, um, and the nut. So we tighten that up. And I ran all of these parts through uh, the degreaser to get all the oil off. So I'm going to just tighten this up. This can be tightened more. Oh, it's turning. Of course it's turning. So I'm just going to hold on to the nut using the wrench, and then I'm just going to tighten it up using the screwdriver. Perfect. All right, so there we go. All right, what's next? Um, okay, so what's next is we have this complicated mechanism, which is um, the um, repeat, non-repeat, clear um, section. So uh, this um, key stem is held in place by a little wire and a washer so it doesn't come out. Um, we also have these two pieces. So we have this piece and we have this piece and they do look different. 
So the one with the rectangular hole goes in the middle. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to put, let's see if I can, there we go. Okay, and it goes in the slot just like that. So that's the one. Okay, I'm going to hold it in place with my thumb. And then the other one, and you can see that all of these sort of shoulders here face the same way. Same deal with this, except of course it's like this because the little rectangular hole here has to go in here. Okay. So now I'm just holding on to all of these things with my hand. Um, also, we have this thing, which does go in here, but it has to go through all three of these holes. Then we can put them on here on the frame. So the pin that's right here, that goes in this hole right here. And then on this part, we have two screw holes, one here and one here, and they're gonna screw in here and here. Uh, I'm sorry, here and here. And you can sort of see a little outline of the part over here. So I'm gonna carefully just place this with the pin. Um, uh, before I do that, let me oil that hole because that is going to be a moving part. Okay. So now I'm going to carefully take this and put it in. There's the pin. Now I'm just going to align these. Here, let me raise the camera a little bit so maybe we can get a better view, hopefully. All right, and then we've got these two small screws and they screw this plate in. I'm just going to put the screw in a little way. And then I'm going to put the other screw in I can screw them both all the way down. Oops, magnetized. So that's that. So the next part is <coughs> this part uh, and this screw with shoulder and they go on here along with this screw. So the screw, so the part goes on the screw's shoulder and then we just screw that in right there. And this is the lever which allows you to remove the, uh, the handle for the machine. Just like that. And there's a spring that goes here. But first, let me go ahead and tighten this up so that it is not uh, Okay, so actually, before I tighten it up all the way, let me put a drop of oil in there. So that way That way it'll move nicely. Now, 
I can go ahead and screw it down. And of course, even if I tighten the screw, the lever itself is not going to be tight because the shoulder is ever so slightly um, wider than the thickness of the sheet metal. Um, here is the, the spring, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the spring on. Um, well, I really did a number on the, on the end of this. It's uh, quite bent. So what I'm going to do is try to bend it back. Yeah, that's good. They're just hook ends. All right, so now let me hook one end around the one post. Get in there, please. Okay, almost. There's one end. The other end goes around here. They're called hook ends for a reason, because they're supposed to hook around. But it is actually quite a difficult job to get them to actually hook. There's probably a technique to this that I don't know. All right, so there we go. That works pretty well. And the very last set of pieces are, we have a gear, a washer, a very large washer, and the clip that holds the gear in place. So now what we need to do is flip this over again and the gear is going to go onto this bushing. So uh, first thing I'm going to do, of course, is oil that bushing really well. So I'm just going to put some oil on it. And I'm going to take the gear and put some oil on the inside, coat it nicely. Okay. So this gear also has this uh, moving part here, which um, which uh, is between um, this press fit thing. So I'm just going to put some oil also in there just so that it can move a little better. Okay. Let me put some oil in the uh, in there as well. Just basically any place where it interfaces with uh, a stationary part. So there we go. All right, so this piece goes on like this. Okay, so we just put it on there. There we go. I think that's correct. Rotate it a bit to get all the oil distributed. Good. So the next thing that goes on is the washer. And the washer just goes on like that. Then we need to put the clip on, which will hold the, uh, the gear in place. So what I'm going to do is clip it around one side. Ah, there it goes. All right, well, that was pretty easy. A little too easy. Yeah. I think that was a little too easy. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to actually bend this. I can just do this by hand, I guess. So just bend this a little in. Make sure that the two ends of the wire are aligned. Then I think I can put them, put it back. And Yeah, that seems, that seems to be uh, pretty good. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it's coming out. So, all right, so that was uh, all that was in bag nine. So let's uh, proceed to the next stage. 
So now we are moving into uh, video six, which uh, took this apart, um, this other section. So we now need to take all of these parts here and put them all back together. So um, the first thing that I note is that we take this cross member with the pins on this side and not like this, but actually like this. Um, this is actually the smooth side. So the smooth, the smooth side goes down and it goes, um, so you can see that there are these uh, um, two pins here and two screws over here. And they go into these four holes here. Now you notice that if I flip this around, this is quite clever, these two pins, these pins, are actually on the opposite side. So it wouldn't actually go in this way anyway. So that's quite nice. Um, the other thing I note is that uh, this pin is um, pushed in quite far, um, and it shouldn't be. So I may want to fix that. Uh, let's see if I can actually do that. Let's see. So to fix, to fix that, I am just going to take, to attempt to fix that, I'm going to take a block. And let's see, the pin is over here. So I'm going to set this down just like that so that now I might be able to bang onto that with something. Um, I'm not really sure what because this doesn't really want to stay stay in place. So well, there we go. Um, so I'm just going to take one of these large things and uh, where's my hammer? I don't seem to have my hammer so I'll just use this. And let's see if that actually helps to uh, push the pin out. I'm going to have to rotate this. Not really. It doesn't really seem to be uh, coming out. There we go. That actually does work. So let me just uh, knock it a little more. Okay, that's pretty good. That's good enough. The pin is out. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, oh, I did want to, uh, I did want to move this. Uh, let's see, where did it go? I think it goes up above here. So let me do that now. Uh, let's go ahead and loosen the set screw so that I can just push this out. Yeah. I think that's how it goes, like that. So now I'm going to tighten the set screw. Again, I don't know quite where this thing is supposed to go. So I'm just going to tighten it up so that the part doesn't actually move. Boy, it's hard to do this with one hand. There, okay. So. So, this is also an interesting mechanism because if I pull on this, this thing can go here, and then if I pull this back, see, isn't that neat? Um, and this thing again, I don't know why it would go around there, but I'll put it there just for now. Okay, so um, we've got these. Uh, so, what did I say? It went like this, and let's see. Oops, okay, so I am the dumb one because I'm not working on that part. I'm working on this part. <laughs> a 
You were probably screaming at your screen. Uh, okay, so we have, this just fits nicely right in there. Okay, and now in our um, bag of parts, we had several different size screws. Um, the most important thing is we had four screws of this size, two screws of this size, which I know happen to go on this, and one screw of this size, which means that we're gonna use these four screws. Um, in looking at this, I noticed something really funny, and that is, um, you see these slots. Look at this. This slot was actually cut into the shaft. Um, while this slot is still in the head. None of the other screws are like that. So, um, so there you go, that's how they made slotted screws. They just sort of cut a slot in it. All right, so um, I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna take one of these screws and how does the screw go? Okay, this doesn't seem right. I must have gotten this backwards. Yep, I did get it backwards. So the pins go in the holes. Great. And the screws go in there. Nice. I'm wondering if I should oil the screws. Um, it couldn't hurt. And it might prevent rust. It's just a thought. So, yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on the threads of the screws. It's probably a good idea to do this for all the screws. Maybe I'll start doing that from now on. For all the threads. Okay. So now let me change my bit out to give me a bigger bit. Okay, and now I will screw this on. I won't tighten it until I get the other screw in. Okay, we also had uh, this rod, which goes in here, just like this. And then we had a washer. Now there are two washers, there are many washers um, in the bag. So there is a big washer, a smaller washer, a smaller washer, and something that looks like a washer, but actually is a bushing, because it's got um, multiple levels on it. So. That's not the one, we're gonna use the smallest washer. So the smallest washer goes right on there. And I promised that I was going to oil threads. So there we go. And then we take this standoff and in the bag we have actually two standoffs. We're gonna use the smaller of the two. So there we go. And I'll just tighten that up a little bit. Just a bit. Okay, so. All right, um, the next cross member is this cross member and you can see that it is also asymmetrical. We've got a wider space here and a small space here. The pins face the other pins here and the small space goes over here. So I am just going to put it right in this set of three holes, just like that. And then we use one of these two thinner screws 
and I will put some oil on the threads. And then put that in there. There we go. Okay, uh, so those are the cross members. Then the next thing that we do is uh, we put this gear on. Uh, the gear has associated with it one of the two washers. In fact, it is the bigger washer because it needs to fit on top of here. And this one doesn't. And the clip. So, also, um, if you'll recall from last time, we have these timing marks. So we've got one here and one here. So, we've also got a timing mark here. Right there is a timing mark. And I had to actually um, scratch a little bit in order to make it visible. So the question is, which timing mark is the one that goes up to here? Well, uh, I'm going to try one. The timing marks don't quite line up. And the reason they don't quite line up is that this timing mark points right at a tooth and this timing mark also points right at a tooth. So instead, I'm going to try the other timing mark, which actually points right at the valley between two teeth. So I think that's the right orientation. So I'm going to oil, as usual. Let's just put some oil on there. Put some oil in here. I'm going to put this on. Make sure that the timing marks line up because that's really important. Okay. So the next thing that happens is I put the washer on and then I put the clip on. So this clip is smaller and it just fits right on like that. There we go. And I'm just going to rotate these just to get the oil distributed. That's pretty good. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Uh, one thing that I might want to do is put some oil on the teeth. Um, because even though they don't actually rotate, they do mesh over here. Um, and they do rub against each other. Um, in order to, uh, in order for one gear to provide force to the other gear. Um, so I may end up, um, not now, but later, oiling the teeth. All right, so the next part is we join the two halves. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this part around like that. And we've got this part. And they need to join up. Um, yeah. So we can see that the, the two pins here and the screw hole are, of course, going to line up with uh, these over here. We've got this end is going to line up with that hole right over there. We've got the, uh, the, four, pin, the four holes over here, which are going to line up over here quite nicely. Um, and then we've got this end here which is going to line up with this hole. So let's go ahead and just uh, put that together. Um, so one part goes in, then this part goes in. It's nice that all four of the parts don't need to get lined up um, right away. It seems like one after the other will go in. So that's quite, uh, quite nice. All right. So I'm just aligning this last part. Mm -hmm. OK. 
So they all pretty much have to go in. Okay, so um, something seems to be just a little stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these back apart. It's this, this middle rod that gets stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some oil in the hole and oil on the part. And I may as well put some oil on all the other things as well. So that perhaps they'll go in more smoothly. All right, let's go ahead and try it again. So here we go, put this in, put that in, jiggle it, put the other thing in, keep jiggling it until it all goes in. Okay, I think they're kind of sort of aligned. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now um, screw this one in. So that takes the thin screw, I'm going to oil that screw. And then by screwing it, I'm basically going to pull the parts together. Okay, so now I'm just going to screw this in. Okay, that does seem to work pretty well. I'm not going to tighten it because I just want to make sure that all the other parts are in alignment. Well, actually, uh, all the other parts are in alignment, um, with the exception of this central cross member. Um, so I'm going to use the uh, screws for that one. Put some oil and put a screw in there. And that way, the parts will be aligned. And when I screw them in, it will pull the parts together. This guy out of the way. There we go. So now I'm just going to screw these. Okay, now I can tighten them. So I'm going to tighten this a little bit, tighten this a little bit, tighten this other far guy. A little more. I'll tighten it all the way. Now I'll tighten these guys all the way. And there we have it. We have a frame. Let me see if I can raise this up a bit so that you can see the entire frame is now put together. Okay, very nice. So uh, let's see. Um, clearly, we have this larger standoff which goes on the end here. Um, or, yeah, it does. does. Um, it goes on. It's kind of funny because if you look at this, you can see that there's the hex end and then it's rounded over here. While on here, the hex end actually goes on the inside. Kind of a funny way of doing things, but um, that is the way it is. So, um, I hope that's the way it is. I hope the small one goes on this end. Uh, should be easy enough to correct if that's wrong. So I'm just going to tighten this one up. Okay, there we go. 
to all tighten and together. So uh, what have we got left? We've got a bunch of parts left in the bag. So let me just drag this over. So we've got what appears to be a washer, a screw, um, a washer looking thing that really isn't. We've got a lever and we've got another sort of uh, part. Okay, so um, we have this lever and we have this screw and we have this uh, bearing. So, and we also have this part. So it appears from the video that this part goes with these tabs face down and they just sort of hang out over here for now. And I'm not quite sure why that is, but they just sort of hang out here. Uh, the lever goes with the spring down and with uh, this round part over on the left side. We have the bushing. Um, oops, I just dropped it. That's not good. So we have uh, this washer with its shoulder and the small end of the shoulder goes in there just like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is just apply some oil on there. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then this fits in uh, there's a kind of a, I think it fits in right over there. So right there. So I'm going to take the uh, screw, oil the threads, stick the, th the screw through just like that. And then place it right there. And you can see that it goes over this thing, which is why I guess I had to put it in first. Something like, like that, I guess. So now let me go ahead and screw that in. Let's uh, get it aligned on its shoulder. how it goes, just like that. So the real question is, what is this doing? Why is it all loose and, and things? And where does this washer go? And this washer actually went here. So I'm going to unscrew this. Okay, so this washer goes right on here. There we go. Put this back. Is there a washer on the other side? Yes, there was. All right, I'm not sure why. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense that there would be a washer because whenever you're, I suppose, screwing something against a surface, um, you want a washer so that you're not grinding into the surface. Okay, and then, um, so that's all the bags. And then the last step is that there's this spring that goes on this post right over here. So I'm just going to get my pick and I'm going to hook that over somehow. Somehow. So I guess the key is to find the loose end, which is this side, and first put the non, I guess the spring side on first, and then pull on the end, 
This is kind of tough. Because it requires holding one of holding one of the ends and then pulling on the other end. It also doesn't help that I've got oil all over my hands, so things are slipping a little bit. Well, I'll figure out how that's done somehow. Maybe I just need to open it up a little bit. Sometimes that helps. There, now it fits quite nicely. All right, so that's that part of the machine. Uh, so there was a tiny bit of a screw up, and that is when I put the screws on for this cross member, in fact, this loose part, um, that was supposed to be screwed on as well. So that's pretty easy to fix. I'll just remove the screws from the cross member. Pull this apart a little bit, see? So these go right in here. Okay, so this screws on right there. So I'm just going to take the screw and Screw it in there. It didn't actually hurt um, that I put these screws on first because they did help to bring the, uh, the two frames together. So that's all right. So now I can tighten those and tighten those. There. Now you can see how those two screws went. And this goes on like that. And this is like that, I guess. Or possibly like this somehow. And we'll figure that out. Um, we'll figure out where all these little levers go. Next time on Calculator, reverse engineer, disassemble, reassemble, clean, restore. <laughs> I have to come up with some sort of a nice, um, some sort of a, a nice title for all of these videos because it's not just this calculator, it's the other calculators as well. So uh, until next time for video series on calculators, I'm Rob. Take care.